Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne and I love all things home decor and interior design. So if you don't want to miss any videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about my favorite Amazon home finds. I've purchased a few things lately, so I want to go through them and show you some of my favorites. All right, let's start with these art pictures. These are from Kate and Laurel. They are very popular on Amazon, but I found this set of two art prints that are a good size, 23 by 33, so about two feet by three feet. So it comes in a set of two, but what I did was I purchased two sets. So I had two identical pictures in this set, and what I did with one of them was just flip it upside down and put it on the opposite end. So it kind of makes it look just a little bit different with the way that the circles are. The canvas is a nice natural beige linen texture, and then I love that the frame is a beautiful light wood, but they do have a few options with the frames. They have like black, gold, I believe a dark wood and a gray as well. I love these here in my front room, but they would also look amazing like in a bedroom above your bed or in a bathroom or maybe even an office. Next up is this beautiful arched mirror. I love this. I wanna tell you a little trick with mirrors. They are great to reflect light from either a ceiling light, wall lights, or from a window. And it kind of just acts as another window to give you some extra light. All right, so this one has a beautiful black frame. I just have it leaning against the wall, but you could also hang it and it does have a a stand behind it as well so you could do either of those three options this one is almost three feet wide and six feet tall so it's a nice big size it would even look good in a bedroom so you could decide what outfit you wanted to wear that day you could put this mirror in a corner of your living room on the bottom of your stairs they do have a few different sizes to choose from as well, so you can find one that perfectly fits your space. Right behind me, I have another one of my favorites, and it is this rectangle mirror that I have on either side of my fireplace. And one of the reasons why I put these mirrors here was because I have a really big window off to the side, and they just help bounce that light off, reflect it, kind of make it look like I have a window on either Either side of my fireplace when I really don't. I would just make sure to measure your space so you know exactly what size of mirror to order. Again, I just went with the black frame just to keep it simple and that way I could move these around my house if I wanted to. They would be great for a bathroom or a bedroom or even in a front hallway. Okay, the next one is this faux olive tree that I have in my front room. It's a nice slim design, which I like, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's kind of just nice to have like in a corner where you want a little bit of greenery add some nature from the outside and bring it in i love this subtle green it just gives a nice pop of color to any room this tree is 82 inches tall so it is a really good height i like having faux trees that are taller than me it just helps make the room seem a little bit bigger i also love that the branches on this look more lifelike than some of the other ones I've seen. It's also a great price. Make sure you wait for a good sale on Amazon. I have seen it be half off so many times. I did also order some of this fake moss to put in the bottom. And then the planter is a little bit older from Target. It was a Studio McGee find a few years ago, but I thought it was just so cute in this. The other day I accidentally broke my salt shaker. So I needed to find a replacement and I found these adorable gold ones on Amazon. One thing that I love about them is they have like the S and the P on the top. So for my younger kids who don't understand how many holes are supposed to be in the salt shaker versus the pepper, this helps them out and that way they easily know which one is the salt. I also love that they open from the top. When they end up opening from the bottom, you have to like 
hold it over and put a paper towel on it and try to like shake it in this teeny tiny hole. But these ones open from the top. It's a nice big opening so you can just dump your salt or pepper right in there. And I love the gold. It is just a nice design element to have on your kitchen counter. Okay, the next one is my favorite curtain rods. I have ordered these curtain rods for, I don't know, my past four houses, I think, and I will continue to order them. I just love them. I have black ones right now, but I have had gold in the past and I believe they have silver as well. They come in so many different sizes. They're nice and sturdy. I love that the end caps are simple. They give it kind of a modern contemporary feel, but I really believe they can go with any style. Usually I order these curtain rings when I get these rods and it just kind of helps elevate your curtains to the next level. It helps make them look a little bit more high-end. I recently needed some new furniture legs for one of my Ikea pieces and I was looking to replace the fairly large chunky legs that it had and I found these on Amazon. They are just a simple metal. They're very budget friendly and when you change out your legs on any furniture pieces like a sideboard like this or even your couches, it just helps give it a different feel and look in your home. Home. So I purchased the black ones, but they have different colors like gold. I found these acrylic and gold ones. I even found some wood ones. Sometimes it's just fun to change out the legs and give a piece of furniture that you already have a slightly different look in your home. All right, the next one is these light up branches. I love these. They come in a pack of three. It's a nice brown color, so it kind of looks like a natural twig. The lights are nice and warm. I originally ordered these for Christmas time and I had them up during Christmas, but I kind of loved them so much, I just kept them up. I do recommend probably doing a vase that isn't see-through so you don't see the cords. And I have them set up with Alexa. <laughs> They're on an Alexa plug. So they actually turn on in the evening time when it starts getting dark, they turn on by themselves. It's just a nice warm glow to have on in the evenings. All right, next up are these curtains. I got these specifically for my daughter's room. They come in a pack of two for my daughter's room. I got the aqua ones because that's her favorite color. They're a nice blackout curtain. When you have younger kids and the sun is still out late, it's nice to have those blackout curtains to make it look a little bit darker in the room. They have a variety of colors to choose from, but they're just a nice, simple curtain with just a little bit of shine to them. And when you have a lined curtain, it just elevates it a little bit more than having a sheer curtain. So it makes it look a little bit more high-end. I usually look for curtains on Amazon or Target. Those are two of my go-to places. Next up is this beautiful dark walnut tissue box. This would be great for a bathroom, bedroom, an office, or even a living room. And it just hides a box that maybe doesn't look quite appealing. I actually order my tissues from Amazon and sometimes they send me the craziest prints that I don't necessarily love. So this box would be great to hide those crazy prints and just elevate your space a little bit. All right, this is a set of two pillow covers. I love changing out my pillowcases for different times of the season. I love these beautiful green ones for springtime. It just gives a nice little pop of color as the weather starts warming up. They come in quite a few sizes. I recommend getting a size smaller than your pillow. So if your pillow insert is a 22 by 22, get a pillow case that's a 20 by 20. That way your insert fills out the pillow case nicely and makes it look really fluffy. This specific one comes in a few different colors like black, beautiful brick color, a white, gray, blue, and a rust color. These pillow cases have good ratings and I love the little fringe detail on the outside. Okay, this next one I don't have yet, but I think I'm going to 
to be ordering these dining chairs from Amazon. Absolutely love them. They come in a set of two, four, or six, depending on what you need. It's a beautiful modern design. These are actually a crate and barrel dupe. Their chair for a set of four is originally almost $1,500. And for a single chair is normally $380. So you can get a set of six on Amazon for the same price as one chair on Crate and Barrel. I am always looking for more budget friendly designer dupes to save you some money. They are that boucle fabric that is so popular right now. And I can see how maybe having them at your dining table is a little adventurous. You could spray them with something like Scotchgard to help protect them. My kids are a little bit older now and they don't spill things quite as much. So I think that we're at this stage of life where I could get these and they probably wouldn't have too many stains on them. Another thing you could also do is just get maybe two of these for the ends of your dining table and then the rest of the chairs are wooden or something that can easily be wiped up if you really love these like I do. They do come in a few different colors like beige, white, black, gray, and a light gray. So you could really get whatever suits your style and something like even like the gray may not show stains as much as the white wood. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you loved it. I hope you got some great ideas for your own home and I will see you back here soon.